What's up, everybody? Hope y'all are doing good. So, y'all, today's video is actually going to be on something that I feel like a lot of people in the gay community can really, really relate to, and that is the pressure and the emphasis that we have to maintain a certain appearance. Basically, you know, the pressure to look good. Um, it's, <laughs> it's, it's something, y'all, that has always haunted me for you know, the majority of my teenage and young adult life, especially when I, especially really when I was younger, not so much now. I mean, I still have moments, but, you know, about feeling insecure about the way I look, about not being able to look a certain way. And I definitely feel like that is a huge issue in the gay community is, you know, a lot of these guys can be so mean and hateful to each other if they don't look a certain way or if they're too feminine or you know, it's just it, it can be absolutely cruel and i think that's that's just stupid that's horrible to judge someone based on how they look or their personality traits when it when you know it's really none of your business and if it has nothing to do with you why are you worried about it um but you know unfortunately that's not the way it is um when i was younger teenager um, i always got a lot of compliments on my weight as in i had lost a lot of weight i was chubby when i was younger somebody had people had made comments when i was a kid in school about me being chubby and you know it all started from there and i kind of lost you know a lot of weight in a very short time very short time from eighth grade to ninth grade i lost like 60 pounds and i got very skinny um, and then finally people, especially other men, would compliment me on how small I was. You know, oh, you have a nice body. Or um, they would call me, they would say I was like pretty boy. And I thought, you know, I kind of, that really gave me, like, I guess, a little a boost of confidence that I had never had before. Um, and I was just like, oh, wow, you know, thank you, thank you, thank you. But, you know, that's really, you know, in the moment it may feel good, y'all, uh, to be complimented like that. But there's some men out there who have not been treated very nicely about the way they look. Guys who may ha have a carry some extra weight or guys who may be a different race and they can just be so mean to them. And I've seen that firsthand, y'all. Like if any of y'all have been on Grindr or Tinder, you know, any of the dating apps, you very easily be able to tell and see that people can be very mean to each other based on their looks. Um, you know, and the thing is, y'all, everything is not based on looks everything is not based on sex like your relationships should not because if you base your relationships and your happiness on those two shallow things y'all you will never find true happiness you will never find peace um you know because sex appeal and the way you look you know that's something that is going to fade over time for the most part um you know yes you may you know, in society standards, be the most beautiful pe like person ever. Now, let's say you're 25 years old, but there's going to come a time if you live to be old and when you're 75 that your looks are not going to really get you, more than likely they're not going to get you anywhere anymore. And then what you're left with is, you know, you, with who you are as a person. Um, and I think that's something we all definitely need to start looking at at a younger age instead of, you know, basing all of our self-worth on how we look and then it fades when we're older and then we're depressed and we go through a midlife crisis because we don't know what to do with ourselves so you know it's really sad and unfortunately y'all in the gay community um like I just remember being on some of the date naps myself and seeing um some of the guys that would, you know, I would match with or whatever, um, you know, they would be a certain type. I would find out that, you know, I was not really attracted to. And, you know, there's nothing wrong with having preferences. That is absolutely normal. I think there's some people that take it the wrong way when you claim that you have a preference of a certain type of guy that you like. They take it as being discriminatory, as being... Um, you know, just disrespectful. And, you know, sometimes I feel like that's not really always the case. It all depends on how you express the way you feel, how you get it out of your mouth about what you want and what you like. If you have to be nice about it, um, you know, taking the time out of your day to be cruel to somebody because they don't have a certain body type that you like is absolutely ridiculous to me. Um, you know, and a lot of gay men, I feel bad for, you know, I feel bad for some of the ones that don't maybe have you know, the standard beauty looks that other gay men have or the, that they want that other gay men have. Um, you know, and I really, it's, it's sad because like when I look back on my life, y'all, there was times I had a few things that people said about me that was not very nice about my looks. Um, I, I, one time I was actually, somebody said I was too slim or asked me if I had abs and I didn't. I said, no, I don't. And 
you know, it's like they just lost interest then. And I just, you know, I thought that was silly. It's like, you know, why in the world am I going to waste my time with someone who is going to base all my worth off of the way I look? Because, y'all, one thing, I have been in a relationship before with people that were just interested in my looks, interested, you know, just for sex. And, y'all, those relationships were the worst. They did not last. Uh, the person, you know, they ended up, you know, you're going to get, they'll get, they'll get tired of, seeing you all the time and then you're just you know something that they're used to and then all they're going to do is move on to the next person or either they will you know they may break up with you face to face or they may find somebody behind your back and um, you know have an entire cheating affair behind your back uh, because you know those those type of guys y'all they're not they're not anybody you would ever want to be in a long-term relationship and finding love in the gay community y'all is very very hard for that reason, because the shallowness is is something that is so prevalent in our community that it's hard to find true connection because everything is based a lot on sex. And I feel like sex addiction, y'all, is like a real problem in the gay world. I think it is a real thing. And I actually read something online, y'all. I cannot remember. I was because I was thinking about it earlier before I was doing this video that said it was an article about sex addiction not being a real addiction. Um, and I just disagreed with that completely because I know personally other gay men that you know they, I was acquaintances, friends with them. They had that problem and they openly admitted it and talked about it. And it was a need. It was like they felt like it was just a deep desire and need that they had to have that. You know, just just a normal addiction. I've had addiction problems with you know substances, alcohol, and you know so I understand what it's like to feel like you absolutely need something, and you base a lot of your happiness on having that. You know, and, and when you're a sex addict like that, you go from person to person to person. And it's like it's fulfilling something in you that, you know, is, it, it'll fulfill you in the short in the short term. But, you know, long term, it's it's not going to do anything. It's to fit, the, what you feel inside that you're running from, it will still be there, you know, after every time you meet the new person. Um, and, y'all, it's just like it's really silly to me because you have, like, in the gay community, you know, we have those tribes and stuff and I just, oh, I can't stand that. That absolutely gets on my nerves so bad. Like when you get on the dating apps and people were like, oh, I only want a twink or a mask for a mask. And I'm just like, oh my God. That used to make me want to throw up. I was like, that is the stupidest crap I have ever heard in my life. Because if you're on here being shallow like that and you're completely basing everything off of a look, you are not going to find anybody. You are not going to find a healthy, lasting relationship. And everybody on there would claim, y'all, that's what they wanted. Oh, I'm looking for a long-term partner. Oh, I'm looking for marriage. But then when you would start talking to them and get to know them, it's like three sentences in, and all of a sudden they're starting to talk about sex or starting to flirt with you, but like in a very just inappropriate, dirty way. And then, you know, you can figure people out real, real quick. And unfortunately, there is so many guys like that. And, I, and you know, it's like that. My, you know, some of my friends in school were girls. They always complained the same thing about straight guys. That a lot of them were just so shallow and based everything on looks. So it's not just the gay community, but that's, that's just what I can relate to because that's what I've experienced is other gay men. Um, yeah. And like I said, y'all, and the, if we don't move past that as a community, we're going to really have some problems. We already have enough problems now because of it. A lot of guys feeling bad about themselves, and a lot of gay men just staying single because they're not even going to try to find anyone because they've been turned down. They've been burned so many times. Um, and, you know, this is going to, this is really a, you have to change in here in order to change something like that, y'all. So, you know, if you're the type that you know that you can be like that very judgmental based on someone's looks. And y'all, I know men are very visual creatures. That's, you know, I think that's a very natural thing, but it's up to us to control urges, instincts, and not be like animals and just act on everything. So, you know, y'all, if you are one of those people that can be a little judgmental based on looks, or you feel like you rely a little too much on looks, just kind of step back from that and just really start to view people in here, like personality traits, like make a list and sit and think deeply about the personality of the person that you would want to be with and the person also that you would want to be yourself. And then, you know, take those traits and look for those in someone and, you know, just just be a good person, just be nice 
and just, you know, try to change yourself in order to change the world. You change in the gay community is going to be, you know, it's, it's going to be, it has to take a lot of people. It's not going to take just me making YouTube videos. It's going to really take a lot of effort from all of us. So, guys, I appreciate you watching the video this week. Y'all have a wonderful week, and I will see you next week with a new video. Bye, guys.